All right, I'm uh, somewhere on the north east side of uh, Orcus here. Let me show you in the map where I am right now. Somewhere around here. Let me give you some perspective. So, and I'm about to leave a message from my brother, Edward. So I started here and it got really choppy. It was really windy, like three, four foot waves. Hey, Edward, it's Jamin. I uh, just wanted to let you, it's eight o'clock. Um, I'm up on Orcus, everything's fine. The worst is over. Uh, I had a pretty rough night last night. Uh, anyway, let uh, let mom and dad know that I'm that all is well, that everything is a okay, and I'll be just fine. And uh, call any time. Okay, love you. Talk to you soon. Bye. So anyway, as I was saying, hi. Um, so I started. It, I, I set sail at about one in the morning, and it was windy. I mean, it must have been 20 mile an hour winds. I decided to set out and just sort of test the water. And the waves got, as I moved west along here from Anacortes, it got windier and windier and the waves got bigger and bigger, three, four foot waves. And I was just losing lots of time and energy. And I had my full wetsuit on. It was really restrictive and really tough to paddle. Anyway, finally worked my way up around here and, uh, the waves and wind died down to the extent that I could safely take off the upper portion of my wetsuit and then I was able to make some pretty good progress up over to here and now I'm somewhere up around here. So uh, from the looks of it I've probably done maybe a quarter in terms of miles um, of the distance I need to go in about seven hours so definitely behind schedule. Um, and, uh, but I think I can make up for some good time. Anyway, I'm gonna rest for a little bit now. Let me show you the view. That's not much of a view, here. Uh, this is to the, kind of to the north west. And this is magnetic north from where we are. Those are those islands that are, you can see from the map. And, uh, when I landed here on this beach, it's kind of this nice, quiet, little secluded beach. That's kind of a pretty view. There is a deer. I wonder if the deer is still there. There's this deer over here. Let's see if we can find the deer or if it's run off. Anyway, he, didn't, he or she didn't run off right away. But anyway, this is beautiful Orcas Island. Absolutely gorgeous and pristine. And most of this north coast is just totally like no one's here because it's just so remote. Every once in a while you see a house, but uh, for the most part, nothing. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, last night was just, it was rough, it was brutal. Because with the top portion of my wetsuit, right now I just have the bottom portion, which, you know, which has this kind of coverall sort of thing. The top portion, it's a heavy wetsuit, so it made it really, really hard to paddle, and I was just getting exhausted. But because the waves were so big, three, four foot waves, and the wind was strong, there was you know, a significant probability that I might fall off the boat and into the cold water, so I really needed to have the full wetsuit on. But now, as you can see, the water is much calmer. It's, it's just, per I mean, essentially perfect, perfectly calm, and so I can definitely go without the uh, top portion of the wetsuit. So I'll be going without it in, until evening or if and when the waves get choppier. But it was really only crossing that channel where things were really risky. Um, and, uh, you know, as long as I'm close to shore, um, I, I, I can do just fine with the bottom portion only. Anyway, here's kind of how I've got everything. Lots of water. And I've got the water, water tethered to the, the wet bag, which in turn is carabinered onto the boat. And uh, really not much to see, just a basic Hobie kayak. Um, all right, 
I will check in shortly.